Hey, 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 Taurus. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Tauruses, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Right down below there, Taurus. Oh, we got two that came out. Looky here. I do appreciate it, and thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. So Taurus, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I don't know if I said that twice. The World Card, the Eight of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, there you are, and the Knight of Pentacles here. So Taurus, you're concentrating on work right now with the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like it's so interesting. I have all these four cards here. They're all looking in the same direction, in the same direction. It's like, I feel like you're very focused. There's a new cycle starting. It could be a new cycle starting in your work. But you're taking your time, whatever this is. I mean, you're the king of pentacles anyway. Slow and steady wins the race with you every time, but it's solid because what you do, it will stick. So let's see what this is all about. Some of you uh, with this new cycle here, some of you could be dealing with somebody at a distance or you could be moving for work. Tell me about the world card. Could be dealing with a Capricorn or any fixed energy, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Why is the world card here? But you're manifesting something here. The world card. Yeah, the eight of wands. So some of you, this could go either way, love or work or both, because this is the eight hours of love. But it can also be something that you're passionate about, going after whatever it is that you're passionate about. But it's also indicating, whoops, distance. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Scorpio, um, sorry, I already said that, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Five of Wands. Hmm. So you may have a couple of people vying for your attention here. Why is the five of wands here? Or it could just be healthy competition and work, but you're going through a major transformation. Nine of pentacles. This is going to bring you a lot of abundance. Whatever this is, Taurus, it's bringing you a lot of abundance. You're very confident in this. Nine of Wands. Ooh. All right, that's clarifying the Eight of Pentacles here. Why is the Nine of Wands here? That's Sagittarius energy, but that's the Wounded Warrior. That is somebody who's been hurt in love, but they're not giving up. Nine of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. So, Taurus, you guys are somewhat defensive, but this is because of previous wounds. Now, this may even be wounds related to work, or it could just be this defensiveness that's sort of spilling over into your work from love situation. But with the Nine of Cups here, right, and the Three of Pentacles, there is a wish fulfillment. So if there's something that you wish for or somebody or it doesn't even have to be a particular person, just love in general. It's it's happening. It's happening. You're getting it. So if you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions, the info is down in the description box below. The link to my Etsy shop is there. Click on the link if you want a reading with me, okay? Don't go searching for me. Click on the link, please. Your sacred scribe on Etsy is one word. All right. All right. So King of Pentacles here. Queen of Pentacles. Oh, my 
my gosh. So your divine counterpart. This is also saying that you're balancing, you're learning to balance your masculine and feminine energies here. And this is sort of, ooh, so you have the hanged man and you have the king of swords. This is something you've been waiting for, the two of cups. Oh my gosh. Taurus, you got love coming in. And I, I feel like it's everything. You've got love and you've got whatever you love to do. You're doing it for work. That's coming in. And that's going to be successful. That's with the King of Swords here. Or this could, well, the King of Swords is all about business, right? It's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's somebody who goes after what they want. Who's this King of Swords to Taurus? Let's see. Because this, the Fool. Aries, Sagittarius, energy, somebody who's taking a leap of faith or somebody you're taking a leap of faith towards. How does this person feel about um, Taurus? Let's see. The moon. This is hidden from you right now. Why the moon? Why the moon? Why is the moon here? Five of Swords and the Hermit. This person, I feel like, is hiding their feelings. The Five of Swords here. Why is the Five of Swords? This is somebody who's trying to win at all costs. So let me see, Taurus. I got to make sure their intentions are good for you, for my Taurus peeps. The Empress. See, this is emotional vulnerability or the lack thereof. The Empress here, this may be a Libra. Why is the Five of Swords here though? Oops. The Two of Wands. That's moving. Four of Cups, Six of Wands. This person has an ego, Taurus. <laughs> but they are hiding something. It could be that they're just hiding their feelings for you. But with the Five of Swords here, that talks about unwise choices. That talks about, could be lack of emotional vulnerability. Six of Wands is ego. Two of Wands is moving. But it's optimism. Now, the Four of Cups here is a missed opportunity. Perhaps they feel that they're going to get rejected. That could be it. And this is why they're hiding their feelings. Why are they hiding these feelings? Let's see, Taurus. Four of Swords. Not communicating. Maybe you're not communicating with this individual. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. So somebody was left out in the cold, ghosted. What's their intention with Taurus? What's their intention? Eight of Cups. I don't like this. That's walking away. And notice the octopus, right? The tentacles are in his mouth here. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Page of Wands, message, strength. They're trying to gather up the strength to send you a message here. Ten of Wands, this is weighing heavy on them. Intention, intention. King of Cups, Six of Pentacles. I don't like this intention. Six of Pentacles is giving to two people. So I almost feel like their intention is to walk away from you. I don't know if this is a past person, Taurus. Okay. I almost get, well, I got to tell you what I'm getting. Like a revenge vibe here. That's what I'm getting. 
with the moon card. So be careful of this person because I feel like you're doing very well here. You're, you're very stable. I feel like you're headed in the right direction. You know exactly where you're going. Like I said, you're looking all in one direction. You're focused. Don't allow somebody to come in and derail you from this focus. I wouldn't trust this person. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Three of Cups. That's reunion. What the heck? Where are those people coming out of the woodwork, Taurus? Seven of Wands. You know, Taurus, I almost want to just tell you, focus on the new. That's what I want to tell you. Three of Wands. So there's somebody else at a distance here, okay, who's walking towards you slowly um, with the Knight of Pentacles here. It's Earth Energy, King of Wands, could be Aries, Sagittarius, Leo Energy. What's this person's intention, this person? What is this person's intention? Ace of Pentacles, they want an opportunity. Knight of Wands and Seven of Pentacles, they want to invest time and energy in you. I don't like the Knight of Wands though, Taurus. The Sun, they see you as their happiness. Why are they showing up as the Knight of Wands though? Why, Taurus? Oh, these people. I tell you, Taurus. Page of Swords. They're watching you, Taurus, with the Page of Swords. You need, Taurus, you need to question anybody coming into your life right now, especially if they're from the past. That's, that's what I would say. You need to listen to your intuition. Pay attention to the red flags. And if, if you feel off, it's off. Don't, don't go forward in it, please. Anybody new? Justice. Anybody new coming towards Taurus? Knight of Cups could be a water sign or a Libra here. Anybody new coming towards Taurus? I almost, oh my gosh, the devil, <laughs> the Ace of Swords. So you're getting a love offer. I asked for new, but this is going to be tempting. You, you need to be careful right now. That is the feeling I'm getting with this reading. I can't get away from it. I'm trying to find new. I'm trying to, and what I'm feeling is Taurus, you need to concentrate on whatever you're concentrating on right now. So if it's work, you need to concentrate on work, whatever you're doing. And when it comes to love, you need to just listen to your intuition. What is your initial answer? Like if you're being asked a question, okay, you meet somebody, what is your initial feeling? You need to go with that. Don't question it. Don't overthink it. If it's mm, something's off, something's off. Leave it alone. Leave it alone, Taurus. Just focus on you right now because I don't like this energy. Ugh. I don't like this energy, Taurus. I'm sorry. That's not a bad thing, though. Just get to know yourself some more. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> but focus on growing whatever it is you're growing as far as your career is concerned, okay? Because you're doing something. I can feel it. All right. So we have analyze. Your time is well spent analyzing but only up to where you can become too attached to a particular outcome see analysis paralysis right and analyzing your intuition no but be careful about being attached to the way anything should be working out even your career right anything that you're doing right now be aware of what you're attaching the outcome to and free associate, allow the first thing that comes to your mind without self-censorship to bestow a vision upon you. So what just came to your mind, Taurus? Think about that. What do you see? Okay. And what does that mean for you? All right, Taurus, I hope that helped. I hope it resonated 
please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't, if you're interested in a personal reading. That way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fantastic day, Taurus, and I'll catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.